Good morning and happy apocalypse. Welcome back to Printport, which, um, you know, zombie population, hopefully none. Um, as you can see, I'm driving through the town here with our little hauler trailer. And I'm, I'm just, you know, slow cruising through the town to take another look at what the town has to offer. I think um, I've, I've thought a little bit about it and came to the preliminary conclusion that there were not interesting cars or enough interesting cars for me to abandon this thing. Also, we still need to loot this hunting store. Fairly certain we just took a look, so yeah, lots of ammo, don't need it right now. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. Um, and I'm not 100% sure that it's going to be the the camo ranger vehicle that we have there right now that that's gonna be the our, our price we take home from this trip so i'm having a little bit of a cruise around while we stab a few zombies Very strongly, oh, there was another one. Um, very strongly leaning in towards picking up that that Nissan Skyline. I think it was called the the purple car. Yeah, it has a right hand side drive, and I'm gonna complain about it the whole time. Um, but it's still the most unique car that we've seen in this town. <coughs> like, I don't need an, you know, it's the whole thing, right? I'm a single survivor. I don't need five different cars. But if I can get them, why shouldn't I take them? That's a bit of a party going on inside there. What are you carrying here, mister? Might stick in a shotgun? Okay. How oh, are there so many police officers inside there? Oh, I was hoping I could get a peek inside the building from the windows on this side, but they don't have any windows. It seems to be some sort of bookstore, I'd say. Maybe worth another look. Okay, what's behind the building? Didn't somebody say this town was clear? What a bad, another M500 shotgun. Oh yeah. So somebody still that's at least two more zombies inside there. What is this? Somebody living the fancy life here. Not on my watch. You got a broken window on your fancy fancy garden shack. Ford Reed Rocks and Fake Rocks. Okay. 
Um, so the real reason I was interested in this whole book thing is still that dreaded reloading free. Yeah, definitely not gonna go in through that window. I can see him. Shoot him. All right, let's have a quick look here then. Reloading too. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume everything else we have. Red, there we got it. Reloading number three. Oh my god. Um. So we don't have all foods around the world. Let's actually do a quick pause here. Training materials. Let's give a quick look uh, over the book list. Um, okay, apparently, well, I think this shows what you read, not necessarily what you found. Yeah, so this is not going to help too much for books. But for recipes, we just found that one. Still missing angler one. What? What? Oh, metalworking two. And how sausages make meat. Well, and the gorilla radio, you never find those. Like those are those are like the rarest magazines in the game, and at the same time also super useless. Um. Okay. Well, how much, the question is how much do I care about those magazines, and the answer is not very much. Right, let's potato or two and continue our little little scouting trip. I mean, there's something to be said about having a good old spiffle van. So far, everything everything points me to chew that purple. Yeah, purple skyline. Let's just let's just take it. You've probably been already annoyed by me not making up my mind about the cars, which like it's such an unimportant thing. Oh, I also wanted to check out the, um, the dugouts behind the school. There's a baseball field, I've been told. And, you know, if there are the dugouts at the find of the fields, we might find a baseball bat or two there. Okay, now, how exactly will this work? Does this work? Detach. There's no vehicle at the behind or it's not well, it's not super okay so you need to be behind the trainer
It's it's totally not loud, and also not an annoying sound effect at all. Nope. Got him. Okay, that solves my overweight issue. Ah, I'll leave the motor running. It's fine. So a quick smoke, and then check out the the baseball fields. They're gonna make it awkward with different speeds. Ah. Do some more stabbing. Quite a few guys here. A whole team. I mean, there was a game going on that I interrupted here. I wonder what he had on his back there. So that little shanking, my money is on the green team because the blue team just lost a bunch of players. Oh, a machete. Okay. Let's get everybody's attention over here. That's a that's a hole in the fence over there. So everybody from the forest here to the south is coming over for a little little tryout game. You try out these, these steps. I mean, I mean. I'm gonna take these cargo pants just because they look. They look 80s enough. I know. Can I shoot you through the fence? I cannot.
I don't want to start looting or checking out these things while there's still guys coming in from the other side here. Okay. Might have been it. What's close? And baseball bats. I'll grab one. So hang on. What was our status of long blunt? Yeah, we actually need still need to work on long blunt, but I'm kinda hoping that we find some of the aluminium baseball bats. It's all just now there's so on. Alright, you know what? If there's just one aloe, then we take another another wooden one. You are in a hurry, huh? Hurry to get smacked in the face. Now, I was looking earlier, and unfortunately for that Skyland that we have now loaded, there's no additional um, storage option. So no roof rack or... or um, cargo rack on the back or something like that. So we just have um, the, the trunk and the seats to fill up. But hey, it gives me uh, an option. You know, we have a nice little garage back at base. And I like to have, uh, you know, a hobby car to work on. While waiting for better weather. Not talking about better weather. We haven't heard this stuff in a while. Um, so yeah, so we're taking that with us. So what I'm going to do now here is drive back to base, unload this tile, and then load it. But did the snow just vanish? Interesting. Well, most of it did. Um, load it basically with everything that's in this car currently, just to free up the storage space here. Uh, which, you know, might not actually be enough, so I think we m I'm just gonna stop also here and load up some, some ammo from this place. A blizzard coming in three days. So for the blizzard I either want to be... Well, I don't want to be on the road. Not sure if I want to be here or if I want to be back in my own base. Can I wrap up whatever I want to do here in this place in, in the two days that I have left? Possibly. Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna grab some extra ammo from here. Again, I'm just taking that, uh, which we used a lot here, and which is kind of rare, which is then the... Actually, 38 is also somewhat rare. And yes, I'm getting slightly over encumbered here, which is fine. Which is hopefully going to be fine. Yeah, 
cleaning kit. I was just saying that the other day that we didn't have any of those with us. Shotgun. Okay. Wanna make sure we can actually fill up that that other car. I was hearing the heavy breathing sounds of a zombie, so I'm a little bit a little bit concerned. Yeah. Yeah, I, I appreciate you guys being here and, and paying attention. Okay, so there's like five more zombies near their hunting store. Drop all of that. Still carrying too much. What else did I pick up? On oh, the backup shotgun. Oh yeah, and a bunch of baseball bats. Actually, let's detach the trailer here, because it's kind of, oh, <laughs> that looks way more better than I thought it would, it was, but it's fine, you know, it's uh, something to work on. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the whole cargo transfer thing, right? Put all of this in the car, put everything we have in the back and in the, in the trunk in here. Uh, fill this up, like every seat, fill up the trunk, fill up the glove box, like every little space we have, fill it up, then load it onto the trailer. And also fill it up with gas, if possible. Um, then next thing I'm going to do is, I think there's gas in this one, so we're going to refill our car from this. And then I'm going to do a trip through the town, grab a few doors, grab a few windows, grab whatever else I think is, is worth looting. Uh, and I'm going to do that whole stuff off camera. And I'll get back to you and, and show you the results. Because it's mostly going to be lots of... Uh, ferrying cargo around. I always feel like that's that's better. Better left off recording and then we get back um, once we have our full haul here and we might just and yeah, I think that's going to take me the rest of today and, and the next in-game day. So the day after that might actually then be the trip back home. So yeah, let me just put a quick cut in here. All right, it's um, two days later, 
roughly one and a half days. Uh, we are fully loaded up. There's nothing else I can fit in either of the cars. And I'm always surprised how little, uh, if, you're, if you're looking for furniture and stuff for a base, how little you can actually fit in these cars. Like, I grabbed... I grabbed a bunch of doors here, right? Each door weighs 30. So yeah, four doors, that's the roof rack completely filled up. It's it's kind of nuts. And then, so I basically have four doors, a bunch of carpet and paintings. And that's it in terms of any special for the building. I didn't grab any windows. Now we have probably more ammo than I should be looting considering what we have back in base, but Hey, we have, we have some big plans with Fort Rockridge. Um, so yeah. And I really, I kind of wanted to um, make it home before the blizzard hits. So that's why I also want to wanna leave now and not wait another day. So yeah, Greenport, that was um, interesting. I like the layout of the Sun Tower. It has some interesting POIs. Um, not crazy zombie population, not absurd amounts of car wrecks on the roads, so that's all really great. Uh, yeah. Definitely a mod I'll, I'll be using again in the future. Um, unfortunately, I was kind of hoping a diagnosis failure. Ugh. Nice. Not what you want to hear. Did I hear something about, like, radar failing? And so we don't know if the air radar failing? I, I'm kind of only half paying attention to the to the radio there. There's uh, more zombies left here in Rabbit Hash than I would like to admit. But also remember, I was kind of bolting from this place after triggering that house alarm. Also, I never properly cleared this this part of the road. Ah, it's gonna be good to be back, back at home base. Feel like I haven't been there in ages, although, you know, it's not been that long in the game, but considering the last time I played, actually, my character in that base, it's been a really long while ago. I need to adjust my driving a little bit to to the trailer. So, just want to hear one more radio report. And then we also have to make up our mind which way I'm going to drive back. Okay, probably black art. Weather forecast satellites unreachable. Yeah, well, that will do it. Air traffic radar system error. Well, wonderful. <laughs> God damn it. Why, why today? Of all days. With a blizzard incoming and the helicopter being now 12 days ago, so might be coming today, might be coming tomorrow. Ah. All right, let's turn that off. Okay, let me just have a quick look at the map here. Um, I think this area still has way too many zombies on the road, so I think we're going to go again the long way around here and drive this way through the top, top of Akron and then back to base. This is not, an, not a road here I want to take with the trailer in the back. 
Although I hope that these things that I marked out here were not too terrible. All right, we'll see. Uh, coming up on the second little barrier. First one wasn't wasn't so bad. Second one squeezing past. Okay. Yeah, I think we should be good until home base then. Then again, there were a few cars in the road where I didn't put any marks on the map, so I don't trust past me at all. I'm assuming nothing else happens. I'll get back to you when we're back at base. Oh, sweet home. Looks like somebody didn't quite fully do their job here with the... Look, it was all full of snow. I didn't see where I put tiles and where I didn't. That's gonna be my excuse. That's gotta be good enough. Now we need so much gravel because I really like the way the the graveled part of the road looks. So yeah, that's that's something we're gonna have to do. All right. So how we're we gonna do this? Yeah, it's this is fine. Let's just park here. Now. It's still early in the day, so we might still get a helicopter if it is coming today. That is not how this is supposed to work. Hmm. I just, I'm just. I don't know. Ah, it's all going wrong. I drive you down. Seat occupied. Yeah, I know. Oh, also, it's the wrong seat. Ah, open that door. That's not the seat. Driver seat. Not making any sounds. It also has a green light on the battery, so I'm just assuming maybe the mod doesn't have a start sound. It's not like I can pop the pop the hood and check if everything's fine. The engine's so busted. Okay, can I just load it up again? Maybe do that. Let's load that thing up again. Unload it again. W why did I think that would work? Yeah. Repeating the same thing and expecting a different outcome? Madness. Just just try at a different angle. There we go. Wasn't even a problem. Ah, it's so why were we not not starting? Um, I don't know. That is weird. So the battery has not enough power remaining to actually start the car. I'm not sure why the battery light in the car was green. You need at least a charge of 15%, I think, to start, and 5.1 is definitely less than 15. Well, anyway, something for me to drag into, actually...
as the final thing here, uh, uninstall that. And I'll figure out how to hook it up to the to the battery charger that we have here. But for now, yeah, we're back at base. Gonna weather out the next helicopter and then see what else we do. And yeah, in, in the near future, a trip to wherever that is. For now, we're gonna put a cut in here though. Thanks for watching. See you next time.